All right, everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. Again, uh, just going through my card collection here. Uh, we're on 2017. Um, Allen, Tops, Allen, and Ginter. Valerie Jenkins uh, was the featured. So this was the year after her World Championship, so she must have won in... 2016 Paul's was 2015 his fourth win um, I should say so I just put these I, I labeled these um, for photos when I was selling them so I'll just pull the one out so you can see it without but um, that's the base card this year it's got a nice frame to it picture frame look Val in the middle Jenkins on top top sale and again to 2017 and then there's the back, uh, card number 177, again titled The World's Champions, disc golfer Valerie Jenkins. Below her signature at the top of her website, Jenkins has inscribed 4X, a nod to the quartet of disc golf world championships she owns, which includes three in a row from 07 to 09 and another in 2016. Valerie grew up in a disc golf family near Cleveland, but favored other sports before catching the bug in quotations now living in oregon she generally can be found near the top of the world rankings so yeah that was interesting that uh valerie and avery won their won a world championships the same year at the kc kansas city worlds uh that was pretty cool i think in 09 but then this one celebrated her fourth uh fourth win in 2016 so that's the base card this was new this year. Um, it's going to be tough to get the the shimmer off of it. I think I got it there. Um, it's called the foil card. And it's got a holographic look behind the, or inside the picture frame. You can see that. That's pretty cool. A little more rare. Same back um, as the other, the base card. <clears throat> Then there's the regular mini, same back, the A and G add back mini, as they called it, tops Allen and Ginter, it's a little different logo this year. Then there is the black border, different look, um, not just a tiny little bit of black ink on the, on the edges, it's quite a bit. Uh, really defines the frame. Same back. Then I believe this was a retail retail exclusive. Was the gold border. So it's a it's the same look as the black border, um, just gold in color. All the all the lettering is in gold also, and then it has the AG back to it. I, I believe that was retail only. So there's a difference in, in the trading card hobby. Um, like if you were to go to a trading card store, you would typically be purchasing a hobby box, um, which from way back in my day of early collecting, hobby boxes were the ones that always had the better hits, the, the autographs, the relics, the, the, the stuff that the true like heavy hitter collectors want to see in a set and the retail stuff typically didn't have as much of that it was more geared towards you know people maybe getting started in the hobby or just people that dabbled with it um so those were called retail and they typically would have uh less of the hits and then ultimately they what they do is to kind of bump pump up the the retail side of things to even to the uh -huh. avid collector is they'll throw in some parallels and things that you can only get there so that the collectors will go out and buy some of the, the retail stuff too. So uh, this is the no number that I talked about. Uh, I do have the Avery Jenkins. I don't have the Macbeth, never seen one, but I do have the Valerie also. So it's not serial numbered, but they state that there are only 50 of them made. And then we move on to the Brooklyn again. Uh, numbered out of 25. Hand numbered here up in the corner. 21 out of 25. 
with the Brooklyn back. So that's pretty rare. Then we go to the Black X and Black X Mini. Same deal. Just parallels of the versions. And there's the backs. And then this one was new. I don't believe this was done for any of the other ones, but it's a red mini. And it's got kind of a burgundy, maroonish look, but it's red and in color. Pretty sharp looking card. Um, on the back, it is serial numbered by hand, one out of five. So there's only five of these ever made, and I got one of them. Moving on to the relic. Um, looks like... He has, uh, Daniel Mears has two variations listed. And I don't know if this is actually a variation, a mistake, um, just by chance. But I have two different looking relics. Same shirt, you can tell. It's the same pattern. But one goes up and down and the other one goes across. And I'm wondering if there aren't different sections of the shirt where that that material goes different directions this actually does a little bit look a little bit more coarse than this uh, it might just be the amount of white in it <clears throat> so i thought that was cool most of the relics show uh the lines going up and down and when i saw this one i was like i'm gonna buy it don't really know if it's rare more collectible i just thought it was cool and then the other one that's listed on Daniel Mears, so there's the regular one, the Relic. Um, he doesn't list the, the variation of angle because it probably doesn't mean anything. But then there's the Innova logo, which I ran across this one just in the last couple years, I think, on eBay. I found it uh, and bought it because it has the Innova logo on from her shirt. There's probably a dozen, maybe, of these made. It might be even more than that. Um it, based on the size that I'm looking at, I think an N, uh, I, actually, I can't really tell what letter that is. I, and yeah, I would think it's the N that looks backwards though. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyways, um, pretty cool listed as a, a variation. Then we got the autos. Again, here is the base auto. Uh, it's a little darker than the year before with Macbeth. It's almost blacker with a little bit of brown on the edges. Blue signature in the back. Then there's the actual black border. And it's almost got a little bit of a bluish hue with some gold inlay here looking color and then serial number up there 24 out of 25 is what i've got there you can see it the silver framed auto mini silver signature black mini and then the back then the red auto Four out of, numbered four out of ten red ink just on the mini and I'm not positive I, I know I mentioned it in I believe the Avery Jenkins one I don't know when they started doing what what's called the rip cards but that was one way to get a lot of the rare minis like the, the I believe this probably would have been in there if they did it during the 2017 year um, you basically would get a card and it would be maybe normal size or even an oversize. I think they put them in like a box. They call it a box loader where they'd put it on top of all the packs. And it um, ultimately you can keep the card as is uh, or you would be able to rip it. And there's like a little tab that you can pull. Some of them even had multiple tabs that you can pull. And ultimately it's your decision to keep the card if you like it. If it, it might even be serial numbered or to rip it and see what's inside. You know, you might get a more rare auto or a mini or, or somebody else that you, you want. Um, so it'd be interesting to find out how many of those 
if they did it for this set, I'm not positive. Um, but ultimately, how many of those went unripped and have really cool cards sitting inside that you'll never see? Um, I, that'd be kind of fun to pay attention to. So again, the 5 by 7 version, uh, they actually do make top loaders for that. Uh, I have 03 out of 49. I think that was the same number I got Macbeth. So I might have ordered them at the same time. Um, I don't recall for sure. So I do not have the gold version, which is numbered out of 10. But I did get the poster 10 by 14. Just like the Macbeth. And this I know I got right when they came out. And to me it looks like I got the second one produced. Or second one sent out. So I think that's why I, I remember getting it right away when they were brand new. So that's the uh, 2017 Tops Allen and Ginter. They have not put any more disc golfers in their set since. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they discontinued the World Champion sets. Not sure. Uh, I don't know what it took to get um, Avery in the first one. You know, he probably had to sell it to him or somebody had to sell it to him. Um, initially, but uh, I would love to see more of those more world champions come out, or even just a, a minor subset of disc golf. You know, the more popular it gets, the more likely that's something like that might happen. So, uh, on the Valerie Jenkins set, so I showed you everything I have. I'm missing the 5x7 gold numbered out of 10. I'm missing the 10 out of 14 gold, which is one of one. I have the auto. I do not have the printing plates. Um, so there's, again, four of those, all numbered one of one. Black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. There is the glossy, uh, which is numbered one of one again. I showed you the hot box. I didn't call it that, but it's called the hot box foil. So there must be, if you randomly purchase a box, the whole box must have been foil cards, or maybe it had X number of foil cards in it versus the regular base. Uh, Black Border, Broken Back. Mini, they also have the Mini Glossy, which looks like it was also one of one. Uh, it says the no number, yep, which I have. Relic, end of a logo, X Mini, X Mini Red. X mini silver. Uh, X mini silver. That's one of one also, and I don't believe I've ever seen that on any of the cards from that set. So I do not have that. And then also, again, the blank back the, from the vault. There was one of one. So that's what I'm missing. Hit me up if you've got them and you want to make some trades. Let's fill my... Really want to fill my collection out as much as I possibly can to have the rarest of the rare, the, mo the most difficult to find cards. Uh, I would love to get all those. So, Anyways, that's it for this one. I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to um, head to work for a little while. And I may be able to do some more videos uh this evening or tomorrow we've got league tonight but uh please like share and subscribe as you see fit and again as always leave a comment if you want to make some trades i think i've started to meet a couple of people that maybe have been seeing my videos that's pretty cool um people approaching me with trades um i'm happy to move anything i've got that's extra for anything I don't have, um, obviously just trying to match the values as best we can so that everybody gets what they want. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.